What's going on you guys? This is Scholarly Willowness 2 here, and today I'm back once again with another Thomas Wooden Railway review. And today's review is going to be on the Down by the Dock set. So for those who may have not noticed that um, a few weeks ago, I did a, a video where I looked at an entire haul of Thomas and Friends toys. Most of them were Tommy and Wooden Railway. And if, it, if you may have watched, for those of you who may have watched the video, and if you didn't, well, go back and look at that. Watch the video so you can get a better, better, better idea. So, so yeah, you, for those, you, for anyway, for those who may, may have may have watched it, is that damn a few of the items in, in that hall were linked to this this specific set, like Cranky, the Bridge, Bolstrode, and the Lighthouse. Unfortunately, that is what what is true. The sets did not come with any of the of the vehicle, vehicles and accessories except for Cranky, Bolstrode, and the Lighthouse, of course. So all the rest of the accessories here in engines are, imp are improvised. <clears throat> so without all the way, let's get into the set. Let's get into the set. The Down by a Dock set was first introduced to the Thomas Wooden Railway line back in 2002, and remained basically untouched for its entire lifespan. With the only difference being they switched, which they switched out the cranky the model, the cranky model, with a newer update. Up until 2010, when the set was was discontinued. The set is loosely based off the Brendan Docks from the TV series. The main items that the set comes with are Percy, with um, a cargo car with a cargo piece. Now, fortunately, I did not. The set did not. I don't have all the pieces to make up the set. The only pieces I'm missing are the workman figure, a yield sign, and the one. The one the wisest to that track over there. That's that's a diff different place. Older one, any special cargo piece that looks like this one, but it has fish coming out. So yeah, I'm mean, doing a little improvising here. Same, this is a cargo car. He also come. This set also came with um Louis One with his cargo piece, except for his flatbed, which I don't have. He also came with Cranky, the old style green one. I mean, a gray one. I mean, later on he was updated to be green. So yeah, you may have also seen in the video that him his head was the he was basically deca decapitated by by. As you can see, I I, I soon fixed that. Set also, the set also comes with Bolstrode, Bolstrode the Barge. I'm going to take a look at him since I don't, I don't feel like doing a review on him at all. Bolstrode was only was first introduced, introduced in this set and was exclusive until a few, I think a few few years later where he came along in the, like a drawbridge, a drawbridge set. Yeah. So anyways, Bolstrode, he's Bolstrode. He's pretty cool. For some reason when I was a kid, I always didn't, for some reason I didn't read Bolstrode's side. So I always thought his name was Nordstrom because of a of a of a of an early YouTube collection video. Yeah, Nordstrom, it's the barge. Don't judge me. <clears throat> the gimmick of it says that basically Lee of Cranky, he can t basically um, use his little these little hook things on his on his sides to load to take to take Percy's cargo piece right here. Like that. He can lift it lift it lift it out. Of a truck, and using using this other knob on the sides, he can move it all the way over to where Bolstrode is. Just like that. Sorry, it's hard. To, it's hard to do do it with one hand. Yeah, and Bolstrode can depart depart the docks with his cargo. Or he can do it vice versa. Basically, Cranky collects the cargo from Bolstrode, and Percy takes it elsewhere, like that. Other things the set comes with include a, two figures, one of the top, the top of the hat, and the other of a workman. This is a Lionel workman I use as a placeholder. It also, it also comes with a lighthouse over there that can move around, like that. Also came with a signal. A railroad crossing sign, one tree, the Sodua Bay Bridge, and this exclusive dock piece for Bolstrode. It, well, it was exclusive until it came along in the Wasting to the Wharf set a few years later, and I think it was 2009 or 8. Yeah. And Quiggy fits comfortably in there. <clears throat> so the main flow of the set is that basically you have Percy, who would go along this big, big oval piece here. Go over the Sodor Bay Bridge, like that, and come all the way back, back down to where Cranky and Bolstrode are. 
we can take, we can firstly take a detour and go over this little butt hill, hill right, right here. Sorry. Yeah. And there's also a little, little siding, he siding here, I guess, so you, you can store a piece of cargo or something like that. Yeah. Another thing this set also, also came with is a exclu exclusive playmat, which of course I got the second hand and I'm pretty sure the playmat is longer gone. Yeah. Now as for what Louis 1 does in set, you can also say, what, well maybe um, Cranky can also put function with Louis 1. Like this. He can lay down, grab his cargo, and once again, similar to Percy, put it into Bolstrode. Like that. Well guys, that was my review of the, the Down by the, the Dock set. I hope you enjoyed this review, and Scholarly Rowan is too, signing out.